بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم لا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله العلي العظيم الحمد لله رب العالمين صلى الله على سيدنا ونبينا أبو القاسم المصطفى محمد الله صل على محمد آل محمد وآل الطيبين الطاهرين لا سيما بقية الله إلا أرادين اللهم أخرجني من ظلمات الله وأكرمني بنور الله اللهم افتح علينا أبواب رحمتك وانشر علينا خزاء نؤلمك برحمتك يا أرحم الراحمين We have two more points to mention and complete the discussion about istisha and actually by finishing the discussion about istisha we finish usul amaliyah Point four Taqaddumul أصل السببي على المسببي. The principle of استصحاب when can be implemented in two levels at the level of سبب or at the level of مسبب at the level of cause or what is caused the effect. Ulama of Usul say we give preference to the implementation at the level of the cause, which is more important because that's the foundation. Taqaddumul asl sababi alal musababi means alal asl al musababi. So if you can apply at the same time. استصحاب either in the cause or in the caused you should apply it in the level of cause إذا كان في المقام أصلان متعارضان when in a case in a context that you are dealing with there are two conflicting principles but these are not totally separate. They conflict, but غير أن الشك في أحدهما مسبب أن الشك في الآخر. But the doubt with respect to one of them is caused by the doubt in the other. So one is the root. One doubt is the root, is the cause for the other doubt. Let us give you an example. مثلاً إذا كان في إناء ماء قليل or ماء قليل مستصحب الطهارة. You have an إناء. إناء means container. You have a container. There is little water, not core, not abundant water. There is little water in that إناء مستصحب الطهارة. And you have assumed that Still, it is Tahir. So it used to be Tahir. Now you have doubt. You say, this water, I suppose that it still is Tahir because I know the previous condition. It was Tahara. I bring Tahara to the current situation. And we have another thing. Vathobun mutanajjasun qat'an. And there is a clothes which is certainly known to be najis. But now I have doubt. Why? Because with the same water, I washed it. If that water is still Tahir, it has made this also Tahir. If that water is Najas, it has remained Najas. The dress also remains Najas. Okay? فَقُسِلَ الثَّوْبُ بِهَذَا Ma, the dress is washed with this water. فَهُنَا يَجْرِي بَعْدَ الْغَسْلِ إِسْتِصْحَابًا So after washing with the same water, the clothes, there are two إِسْتِصْحَاب, two options. We have to choose one of them. إِسْتِصْحَابُ بَقَاءِ تَهَارَةِ الْمَا To assume that the tahara of the water is remaining which ma which water the same water 
الذي به قسل الثوب النجس the same water by which we uh, wash the najis clothes شيخ نجس not the water after you means the water before washing. Yeah. Not after. Yeah. Yes. 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 If you do a stasa for tahara of water, the result is that the clothes also has become tahir. B. استصحاب النجاسة الثوب The second option is to go to the مسبب to go to the level of the dress and say this dress was najis and I assume it is najis I assume that washing it with this water has not changed the situation yeah استصحاب نجاسة الثوب وبقائها حتى بعد الغسل. النجاسة is remaining even after washing. Okay. So when we have two possibilities like this, علماء say we should give preference to the استصحاب with respect to سبب. Means تهارة of water. Okay, so first clarify what is the position about water. After that, the position with respect to the clothes will be automatically clarified. And then you cut the mul estesabul awal ala estesab sani. Why? Lana shak fi baka in nijasat fithob. Because your doubt. In continuity of najasa in the clothes after washing, this shak is originated, is caused from what? From your doubt about water. You have doubt about tahara of the water by which you clothes, your clothes was washed. فَإِذَا تَعَبَّدْنَا الشَّارِعْ بِبَقَاءِ طَهَارَةِ الْمَاءِ ظَاهِرًا When or تَعَبَّدْنَا الشَّارِعْ When Shara asks us to be obedient or when we are obedient to the Shara by assuming that the cleanliness of water remains even if it is حُكْمِ ظَاهِرِي because we cannot say by Allah this water is clean but at least we can do استصاب if we assume practically zahiri like as a hukm zahiri that this is tahir yakunu ma'na its meaning would be tartibu ma lil ma at tahir al waqi min al athar ala mustashab al tahara whatever asar whatever effects real tahir ma has should be now given to water which is not really water uh, tahir but hukm zahir he says it is tahir for your practical measures it doesn't make difference whether this is by istishab tahir or you know it is tahir <laughs> yeah because istishab establishes for you what is the religious judgment about this case ومن جملة آثاره one of the effects of something which is طاهر is that if you wash a clothes with this it will become طاهر طهارة الثوب المغسولة any water which is judged to be طاهر you can wash نجس dress with it and it becomes clean فالتعبد ببقاء الأصل السببي يرفع الشك في جانب الأصل المسببي. so when you do تعبد means you assume as an act of obedience you assume you suppose 
that the Estesav with respect to the Sabbath is continuing, this would remove the doubt about Aslam Musababi. What does it mean? It means that the Najasa dirtiness, ritual, ritual dirtiness of the clothes would be removed. You would no longer have doubt about Najasa of the clothes because you assume that water by which the clothes was washed is Tahir. Yes. For? When you go for dry cleaning, they don't use water, they use chemicals to put clothes in there. So if the clothes are dirty, then it cannot be clean again. If something is nadis, without water cannot be washed if it clothes. Pardon? Any liquid. Let's count D then adjust the part. Only water. Only water can clean a dress because some of the Najasat can be removed by other things, but the dress only can be clean unless maybe in some cases of Tabaiya, maybe, but uh, not something like uh, chemicals and this type of things. Okay. Supposing you put chemicals in the water, and the water is cold, to clean the clothes. If it becomes muzaf, is a problem. If it doesn't become muzaf, it's still it's okay. spell is same. And yeah, if it is uh, still considered it. as ma'e mutlaq, ah. pure water, that's fine. There is another account. There is another account to explain why we give preference to the principle which is about the cause al aslu sababi huna bayanun akhir li taqaddum al asl al sababi ala al musababi the same thing but we say it in another way if you remember in mabadi usul al fiqh we had this we said we have dalil ijtihadi, dalil fiqahati. Dalil ijtihadi is something that helps us to understand hukm waqi. Dalil fiqahati helps us to understand hukm zahiri, like usul amaliyya. So the second way of explaining why we give preference to asl sababi is that when you apply, for example, istishab of tahara, then this water becomes tahir. Then we have a hukm which is proved by dalil ijtihadi and that is a najis clothes can be washed with tahir water. This is not usul amali. This is something that is hukm waqi and it's known through dalil ijtihadi. So what he wants to say is that by implementing estashab in sabab, then the next one would be no longer where you need asla amali. Asla amali is for only proving the tahara of water. But then for tahara of the clothes, there is no asla amali. <coughs> Just you know that something which is notahir can be used to wash najis. There is another account why asl sababi is preferred over musababi. Asl sababi yunaqih. Yunaqih means prepares and makes it ready, sets, sets it up. What is the subject for Dalil Ijtihadi? Dalil Ijtihadi, we said it's the source from which we understand Hukm Waqi. Any uh, Najis subject which is washed by clean water becomes tahir okay of course ritual washing 
the special way of washing. So this one is Dalila Ejtahadi. It has nothing to do with doubt. You don't see any doubt here. Any Najes clothes, which is washed with clean water, will become Tahir. This is not Asla Amali. And then Dalil is not Dalil Fakati, it's Dalil Ejtahadi. استسهال أن استسحاب طهارة الماء يثبت موضوعا When you apply استسحاب for cleanliness of water it establishes a subject What is that subject? هو أن هذا الماء طاهر This water is clean Okay, this is one side on the other side, we have Dalila Ejtahadi, which has nothing to do about doubt. Anna kulla najasin ghusila bima in tahir fahuwa tahir. Every najas which is washed ritually with clean water becomes clean. So you have Sukhra and Kubra. Sukhra that this is clean water is proved by Istasab. But Kubra, that everything which is najis when it is washed with clean water becomes Tahir, this is Kubra. So no doubt remains about cleanliness of the clothes and removal of its najasa. Yes? Uh, I have two questions. If this, this is not two levels, if we assume a situation where we have more than two levels, three, four, or five levels, for example, where one is this hard leads to the second and the second leads to the third and the third leads to the fourth. So in all of these cases, can we then say that the Tishab actually is only in the first instance and the rest are up now? Yeah, always in the one which is more underlined. Okay. So it doesn't matter how many levels, it's just we start, we have to look at the order. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the second question of course is about this, is if the water, if we, if we reverse the situation, the water was nedges, and now we have doubt if it is cool or not. And the cloth was actually tahir, and then there was contact. So then we we assume this is half of water. So we assume this is still najis, and now we assume we we, we take practically the najasa of the cloth. Yes. So can we have the example for the first one, as brother said that if we have more cases? Yeah. So for example, this dress now you have, uh, for example, uh, wipe your hand with it. Oh. What about your hand? We say the doubt about hand is because of the doubt in the clothes. The doubt in the clothes is because of doubt in the water. So if you clarify the issue about water, then you know what's the case about the clothes, then you know what's the case about your hand. Thank you. Yeah. The fifth and final point. At tambihul khamis, taqaddumul istishab ala sa'ir al usul. Point four was about two types of istishab. One is sababi, another is musababi. The fifth is, suppose there is a case, you don't know whether you should do bara'a or istishab. Ihtiyat or istishab. Takhir or istishab. Because we have four usul. Yeah? Istishab plus bara'a, ihtiyat, takhir. There are three more. What should we do if there is a conflict? For example, But if the previous condition is known to be haram, for example, something was haram, now you don't know whether there has been istihala or not. Something was like gelatin, from animal, for example, it was it was haram. You don't know whether it has become now after the process has become istahale or not. <laughs> now, can you refer to this product and do asalatul bara'a? We say no, because we have here istishab of horma of chilat, and that istishab is given preference over bara'a. 
كل شيء لك حلال حتى تعرف أنه حرام تعرف أنه حرام one of the ways to تعرف أنه حرام is استصحاب okay so or كل شيء لك طاهر حتى تعرف أنه نجس okay if it was known to be طاهر then we bring it to the current case we don't need براءه and if we knew it was not just again we bring it so as long as there is a stishab bara'a will not be applied the same is with ihtiyat or takhir yuqaddamu al-istishab ala sa'ir al-usool istishab will be preferred over other principles la'anna ta'abbuda bi baqa'i al-yaqeen al-sabiq وجعله حجة في الآن اللاحق يوجب ارتفاع موضوعات الأصول. Why استصحاب is given preference over other practical principles? Because if you assume تعبد تعبد means as an act of obedience we assume we cannot say definitely this is the case in reality. This is تعبدي means as a religious act of obedience we do that if we assume that the previous condition is continuing and in the second time it is hujja this leads to there would be no subject left for other usul for bara ihtiya takhir no subject will remain or you can say, oh, you can say either no subject remains or the qaya will be established. Who knows what does it mean qaya will be established? No. It means, you say, kullu shayin laka halal hatta ta'arif. This hatta ta'arif has happened. This hatta is qaya. You say, Unless you know, we say we know because we have istisab. Now let's explain this with respect to each of them. You know, we can have bara'at shari, we can have bara'at aqli. Bara'at shari is based on Quran and Hadith. Bara'at aqli is based on qubhul aqab bilabayyan, which is a rational rule. Rational principle. It's immoral to punish without explanation. The subject for rational exemption is lack of explanation. Lack of explanation. Oh, al-wujub means mustashab al-wujub. When something, its previous condition was wujub or khurma, and now we have brought it to the current situation, فَالْأَمْرُ بِالْتَعَبُّدِ بِإِبْقَاءِ الْيَقِينَ السَّابِقِ The fact that Shara said, لَا تَنْقُضِ الْيَقِينَ بِالشَّكْ Bring the previous condition which was certainly known to the current situation. This is bayan. You cannot say, I didn't have any bayan. Shara says, I told you, Lord, tamgud al bishak. You have to assume that the same thing is continuing. Fala yabqa mawdu'un lil bara'at al So no subject remains for that. Because bara'at al was based on what? Adam al-bayan. Can we say we have Adam al-bayan here? No. We have bayan. Is it clear? What is bayan? The command of Shara that you should do a sashab. This is enough. This tells you what you do. You cannot say, I didn't know. Shara said, I told you. Sashab. La tanqudu al-yaqeena bishak. Man qudhu al-yaqeen al-akhir. What about bara'at al-shari? Of course, Bara'at al-Shari and Bara'at al-Aqli are not two separate principles. It's principle of Bara'a, but two different 
reference. You can prove it rationally or based on the text. One of them was what they don't know. And we mean by knowledge having religious proof. Do you have hujjat shari? Something that Shara is endorsing as a reason, as a dalil. Al istishab kama qarrarna hu hujjatun shariyatun. Istishab is a religious proof to establish baqa al wujud that the previous condition of wujud remains, of it was hurma, hurma remains in the coming time. Fil azminat al lahiqa means in the coming time, in the second time. Fayartafa'u mudu'u al baraat al shariya. So we have no subject. For Bara'at Sharia, because Bara'at Sharia as a subject has what? Lack of knowing, lack of knowledge. Ma la ya'lamun, hatta ta'lam. What about takhir? Takhir is when there is completely equal sides. And you cannot give any preference to each of them. Totally equal. Here, one side is stronger because it is halat sabiqi. It has a previous condition which was known certainly, and you do istishab. And the subject the subject for applying takhir is when two sides are equal in probability. Yeah? al ihtimal means probability. They are equal in probability. While here, al istishabu bi hukm al-shar'a hadimun tasabi But istishab damages equality. The side which is known to be in the past the case, that side is much, much stronger than the other side. Estezhab gives more weight to that side. What about Eshtegal? Eshtegal is when you know there is taklif, and you are worried that if I don't do it in this way, I might be punished. You have to make sure that taklif is taken care of. We say here you, with estishab you can establish what is the case. And al ishtiqal huwa ihtimal al iqab fil fi'li aw al tark. is when there is a chance, likelihood of being punished in doing or not doing. Sometimes doing is a problem, sometimes not doing is a problem. Depends on your doubt. Is it doubt in hurma? Is it doubt in wujub? Whatever. But al istishab bima annahu hujjatun shari'iyah mu'amminatun. Mu'amminatun. What does it mean, mu'ammina? Means gives you security, ta'amin. Give you aman, give you peace of mind. Estesaab protects you with respect to aqab, punishment. So with estesaab, you don't need to worry. If you know the previous condition for sure, do estesaab and don't worry about punishment. Because you have acted in the way that Shara is pleased with. Fal estesaabu bin nisbata ila hadhil usul Rafi'un le mawdu'aha. Istishab with respect to these four usul. If it is istishab and istishab, we discussed it in point four. We said sababi is given preference over musababi. If it is istishab, the other three, then istishab is muqaddam. And this is why, if you remember, we used to say like this. We say when you don't know hukm waqi, 
either you know halat sabiqe or you don't know. If you know, it's the sab. If you don't know, either you know there is taklif or you don't know. If you don't know, it's barat. If you know there is taklif, either you can do ihtiyat or not. If you can do ihtiyat, it's ishtagal and ihtiyat. If you cannot do takhir. Remember? So the first thing was, if you know previous condition, you go for it. وَرُبَمَا يَكُونُ الْإِسْتِسْحَابِ مُجِبًا لِحُصُولَ غَايَةِ الْأَسْتِ Istisab also can be the reason for saying that the غاية, the end has actualized. For example, in Asalat Tayyid Tahara wal Hiliya, means Asalat Tahara wa Asalat al Hiliya. We say, كُلُّ شَيْءٍ تَاهِرْ حَتَّى تَعْلَمَ أَنَّهُ قَذِرْ What is غاية here? Till you know that it is dirty. Or kullu shayyan halal hatta ta'alam anhu haram. Qaya is hatta ta'alam anhu haram. So this qaya is ilm, is ma'rifah, knowing. Till you know. And it means till you have hujjah. In sharia, knowing means to have hujjah. You don't need to be uh, able to say I swear by God. It's enough to have hujjah. Al-murad minhu huwa al-hujjah. We mean by ilm to have hujjah. Al-istishabu hujjah. Istishab is also hujjah. Wa ma'ajarayanhi tahsulul qaya. With implementing istishab, that qaya ta'lamu ta'rif is established. And therefore, there is no majal, there is no space for doing the istishab, uh, sorry, doing the bara'ah. La yabqa lil qaida, qaida til bara'ah, majal. Because it's saying, if you are in doubt, you assume that there is no hurma. And this continues till you have khutzah. Istisab is giving you khutzah. Tamma al-kalam fil usool al-amaliyyah wa yalih al-bahth fi ta'arud al-adidlat al-shari'iyya insha'Allah wa alhamdulillah rabbil alam. So, alhamdulillah we finished istisab. Now, insha'Allah we can start with ta'arud after a short break.